It will be pleasant. Good night, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ and also the body of Christ. Well, once again, this is your Christian brother Eric Braxton speaking to you all from his beloved country, the Republic of Finnish and Sandra, from the from the, from his beloved. A pleasant good night, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ and also the body of Christ. Once again, this is your Christian brother Eric Braxton speaking to you all from his beloved country, the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago in the West Indies, in the Caribbean, in this brand new year, or new year, still early o'clock, still second month of this year, um, 2023, in the month, no, in the third month, January, February, March, in the, in the month of March, 2023. Welcome brothers and sisters all over the world, through the international community, through the international landscape. I say to all the boys and girls all over the world, all over the world, on, in YouTube land, and throughout all the, and throughout all nations of the earth, welcome, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen. Well, brothers and sisters, I was watching a YouTube, I was watching a video on YouTube with my dear brother, who is an atheist, Derek Lambert. Let me spell his name, D-E-R-E-K. So his first name is spelled D-E-R-E-K-L-A-M-B-E-B-E-R-K. No, B-E-R, B-E-R. Let me, let me spell his name again because I think I make a mistake, so I have to correct that mistake and get it perfect this time, ladies and gentlemen. So his first name is D E. R E K Lambert L A M B E R T. I think I get it right. Not I think. I think and I know I have it. I got it right this time, ladies and gentlemen. Derek Lambert. I think I think is um if my memory serves me right. I think the 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 name of his channel is Mid Vision or Mid Vision. I will check it. Okay, Lambert is saying that he is proud and happy that he's an atheist, and he is making that confession, confession to one and all that he is an atheist. But he did said that he he grew up in Christianity. Now I don't know if his mother and father was Christians, or if or they grew him up in Christianity. Well, if that is a fact, although he didn't say it plainly, but he said he grew up. In Christianity, grew up in religion. Well, if the religion he grew up in, or Christ, in the Christian faith, that was very good on his parents' part. If his mother and father is Christians, I assume in that. Although he didn't factually state that, but crystal clear. But he meant to do that, but he didn't um, state that part. Then Lambert, I want you to know you. Huh? Is it? Michael and all those things are finishing this now. Okay. They are going to this now. Yeah, yeah, a little while. That's my wife I'm talking to. Sorry for the disturbance. So let us get into the message. Um, Lambert, I want you to know, well, you are you are saying that he's an atheist. So you want to um, declare it all to one and all and sundry that he was an atheist. Lambert, I want you to know that being an atheist, that you, and you say by and you are saying by being an atheist, simple mean you do not believe in the existence of God, and you have no proof that God exists. And then you you are so bold faced enough, my dear brother, to say that we in Christianity, in the household of faith, in the body of Christ the church of God, the saints of God, that we have no proof that God exists. And therefore you are saying that the church of God, which is who believe in Jesus Christ and the historical record of the Bible from Genesis to Revelation, you are saying that we, that we, then you are saying that we also have no proof that God exists. Because you say that nobody knows that if God exists. And nobody cannot prove that God exists. Lambert, 
you are wrong. We in the household of faith, in the body of Christ, in the church of God, the, the, the saints of God, we know that God exists by the creation, by the creative things around us, the creation that God exists. Because Lambert, creation is the proof that God exists by the intelligent designs, proof that God exists. And we offer ourselves is intelligently designed. That is the proof that God exists. And the Bible, the words of God, the Bible, the Holy Bible, is the words of God. And the true God that is recorded in the Bible is revealing himself to mankind through his words, the Holy Scriptures to mankind. To Lambert, God exists and God is real. But Lambert, I want to say something to you, my dear brother. You are proud to be an atheist because you have declared to one and all and sundry that he is an atheist. But I want you to know, being an atheist, I mean, I want, I want to let you know, Lambert, that God the Creator that brought mankind into existence doesn't want man, any man to be an atheist. God wants every human being that born in this world to know that he exists because he created mankind. You think, Lambert, you believe that you, as you declare that you is an atheist and you are saying that nobody believes that God exists and nobody cannot bring no proof that God exists. Then in essence, you are saying that we are atheists in spite we are saying that God exists. No, you have it wrong. I am not an atheist because there is nothing positive in atheism. Everything about atheism is negativity. And when, when you say that God doesn't exist, you are speaking negativity. When I say that God exists, I, on the other hand, is speaking positivity because, in fact, God do exist by his creation. And when you say that you are an atheist, Lambert, and on your part, and you are saying that God doesn't exist, you are speaking negativity whether you are conscious of it or not, but I'm teaching you to be conscious of that fact, that you are talking negativity by saying God doesn't exist. And I want to remind you, Lambert, the Psalms 14 said, a fool in his heart say, there is no God. Now, I didn't read Psalms 14, so I'm not quoting Psalms 14 to belittle you in no way. I'm not quoting, quoting Psalms 14 to embarrass you in no way. I'm quoting Psalms 14 letting you know that God inspired King David, his servant, to write, A fool in his heart says no God. A fool in his heart says there is no God. Go and read it for yourself. So all those in the atheist camp and all every person who say there is an atheist, Psalms 14 is hanging over the head because they say saying God doesn't exist. On the other hand, Psalms 14 is not hanging over my head. Because I believe and I know that God exists. You see the difference? Keep that in mind. Very important. Very important factor, my dear friend. I want to add something to the mix, to the spin of things, as I say. You know, I want to quote a text in the book of James, the New Testament, to you, my dear brother. It said, let me see if I recall. Um... um any case, when I remember it. Um, yes. Text in the book of James. Thou believe that there is one God, he do well. For even the devils, that's the fallen angels, believe and tremble. In the book of James, thou believe that there is one God, he do well. Thou believe that there is one God, he do well. For even the devils, which is the fallen angels, fall devils, Believe and tremble. Why have I called that text for you, Derek Lambert? To teach you something which is very important. And all atheists like yourself, my atheist brothers and sisters in the atheist community all over the world, that all the angels that God creates, none of them is atheists. Ah, you want me to repeat it? All the angels that God creates, Michael, Gabriel, Lucifer, and all the angels, all of them believe that God exists. In other words, 
what I'm teaching you in essence, you Derek Lambert and you rationality rule, but I don't know what you are ruling over. You are ruling over your atheist brothers for them to always confirm that God doesn't exist. Rationality, that rulership is not good. That rulership is of negativity and there is nothing positive about your rulership which um, rationality because you have labeled yourself rationality rules and you are ruling over positive you are ruling positively rationality are you ruling the right way no you are ruling the wrong way because you too rationality are denying the existence of God as your colleague comrade Derek Lambert are denying the existence of God too and that applied to my next eight years, brother. Of course, cosmic skeptic. But let us come back to what I'm telling you all, my dear brother, Derek Lambert, that all the angels are believers, and all the angels that God creates, none of them is not atheists, because all the angels know that God exists. Because when God brings them into existence, they see the, they have, they have, they see the one who brings them into existence. And that is both Jesus Christ and God the Father. So, any, so in all the angels that God brings into existence, if any angels appear to me now and say, you know, I regret them. God has created us, but we only see Jesus Christ. We never see God the Father. I'm not accepting what that angel say. Because that angel is not going to be speaking the truth. You see, all the angels that God creates, God the Father will not hide himself to them. All the angels will see Jesus Christ and the Father. I want you to know that. But you will say to me too, that Eric Braxton, you are reading from a book of myth. Since we are atheists and we believe there is no God, then we are actually seeing in reality there is no Satan and there's no angels. Yes, because the Bible talks about God and Satan, which is an angels. And if you all deny the exists, and the Bible teach that God created the angels, so by you all saying that God doesn't exist, you all are saying there's no angels and there's no Satan. In reality, that's what you are preaching. That's what you all are preaching to the world, which is not true. I believe in the scriptures from Genesis to Revelation, my dear friend. Derek Lambert and let me remind you and refresh your memory once again before I bring the curtain down on this video that all the angels are believers and all the angels that God create all of them that know all of them know the one who bring them into existence and all the angels none of them is atheists keep that in mind so therefore if all the angels are not atheists then all of them know that God exists, and all of them believe and know that God exists, and none of them is no atheist. <laughs> am I be, am I trying to be funny? No, I'm going according to the historical record of the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation. I know that you all doesn't believe in the scriptures, the Bible, but that's a hardcore reality. All the angels know that God exists. And no angels is no atheists. I want you to know that Derek Lambert and skeptics cosmic, cosmic skeptic Alex O'Connor and rationality rules man. That's a fact. That's a fact of the matter. And you are saying that nobody doesn't know that God exists. So, uh, so, 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 Derek Lambert, how, how, how the universe come into existence, and how man come into existence, and how the angels come into existence, these things come into existence by itself? These things make themselves? Of course not. There's someone who brings all these things into existence. 
the angels first, the physical universe, and the animals and mankind, and the earth and the planets and the stars, and the Milky Way and the galaxies, with all the different laws and complexity of the universe. Somebody bring that into existence, and that somebody, that someone, that being, is God the Father and Jesus Christ, as mentioned in the scriptures. You all will accept that, but that's the reality. No, 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 mankind will not change that. That's the reality. But I know Lambert, you, if you see this video, you might reject what I say, because I'm not a scholar. Um, yes, and you so want to, you like to associate, associate yourself among the bright boys, the scholars, man, yes. The reader nice, the newest publication, and the scholarship. I am not that. I'm not even a college boy, much less a university graduate. So you will dismiss me aside and all and, and saying all what I say in this foolishness. Okay? But I still have to tell you what I'm telling you in this video. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you will say that I'm not fit to join your social club, huh? Those who will be your your, your, coll your colleagues and your comrades. Of course, a nationally nationality rule is rationality rule and your next body comrade cosmic skeptic of course if I see two of you all in, in, hmm? around the table with all the beer drinking and and talking all the talk criticizing the Bible and saying we Christians have it wrong and nobody does know that God exists and if I come up to you all and say I am Eric Braxton from Trinidad and Tobago. I want to sit down and have a chat with you all. You all will say, Eric Braxton, you're not a scholar, you're not an academic, you're not clever and bright at us. And you all will look to chase me away. But fine. 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 Fine, no problem. But I still have to tell all you what I tell all you. I want you all to know that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if a bright person from Trinidad and Tobago come up to America or England and you, Derek, Derek Lambert, with your next atheist colleague, um, rational, rationality rules, and the, the next one kept, kept Alex O'Connor, cosmic skeptic, around the table drinking all the beers and knocking all the champagne glass together, and one of my Trinidadian compatriots, my, my Trinidadian brother, we call him compatriot, yes, 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 yes. Um, colleague, comrade, a citizen of my country, a Trinidadian like myself. I have to try to familiarize with these words, yes, compatriot, yes, 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 yes. I heard it recently and I, I, I think he used these words, yeah, compatriot, yeah, 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 right? And he, he joined all year and he's a professor or he's a PhD from the University of the West Indies in Trinidad and Tobago. Ah, oh, will sure welcome him, yes, 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 and sit down on the table to listen what he have to say because he is a, a, he's academic. Only oh, will want to listen to he because he have his, and, he, and plus if he publish a new book saying there's no God and he's a Trinidadian, all oh, will, oh, yes, all oh, will really glad him. I, I mean, welcome him to join the table with you all and listen what have he have to say. He have to say on. Yeah, but me, who is not no academic, I'm not even a college boy or a university graduate, you all will want to chase me away. Uh, but fine with that, I still have to tell all you what I'm telling all in this video. My dear friend. Okay. Okay. So, 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 um, Derek Lambert, I want you all to know that God exists and God is real and the universe is not by chance, and mankind is not by chance, and the angels is not by chance. All of us was created for a divine and wonderful purpose. Starting off with all the angels, God created all the angels, not for a wicked and evil purpose, but for a wonderful and good purpose. The universe was created not for a wicked and evil purpose, but for a good purpose, by that the, the supreme good God, the Holy One of Israel, and Jesus Christ, God the Father and Jesus Christ. Mankind and all the animals was created for a wonderful and a good purpose by God. How do I know that the historical record? Behold, everything that he created was good. 
was very very good so everything god created is a very very good purpose that included please help me that included the angels also they was created for a very very good purpose ah but it was created for us spiritual creation of angels and then the physical universe moon stars and planet come into existence after we read that in the book of job so all the angels is not atheists all of them know that god exists we can change the reality about it is we human beings on the earth i see you know i think god exists i do not believe god exists another beings other human beings who believe in the bible like me say we know that god exists that is taken among taken place among human beings not amongst the angels all of them know that god exists and all of them know that god brought this universe into existence well once again you will say eric braxton you believe in myth the bible teach it but we do accept that well i going along with the bible say because what the bible is true <laughs> and the creation is the proof that god exists lambert that's the that's the whole fact reality but you know that you all are getting you all um you all i wouldn't say having the free, but i want yes no that will be for your next video you see to believe in this god that bring the universe yet have faith in him because since he's an invisible god i know it's very hard for people to believe in the invisible but god wants us to believe in the invisible because if you if you check look carefully lambert god is not appearing to everybody and jumping out at the sky and saying i am god i never did that to adolf hitler adolf hitler i is god he never even do that to winston churchill winston churchill i is god and appear for winston churchill to do him he never even do that to joseph joseph stalin joseph stalin i is god You see God appearing out of heaven, appearing before everybody, and saying, "I is God for everybody to see." He's not doing that, in spite he had the power to do that. Uh, what he is doing? Can you see? I am seeing it crystal clear. God is remaining invisible, invisible, and yet still in that visible state, he wants everybody to know that he exists and to know that he is real. Is God contradicting himself? I doing that remaining invisible we can't see him as a being but at this but 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 at the same time want everybody to know that he exists I am putting it to you my dear friend Derek Derek Lambert what God is doing is not wrong he's doing the right thing remaining invisible but yet want people to believe him and yet still come in after time come in and reveal himself like he appeared to Abraham talked to Abraham and he went back up in heaven you see that in the book of um um to um in mean, um, genesis so he revealed himself to many people he came to Mount Sinai and revealed himself to Moses mm -hmm. and then went back up into heaven when when he went back up can we look up and see him no he he's invisible ah but he revealed himself to the prophets and many people mm -hmm. you remember jesus christ came on here he was god in human form so he revealed himself then he went back up to the heaven can i look up to the christ and see in the heaven in, look up here and see jesus christ in here no he's invisible ah that's how this god operate is what is is he doing the right thing by doing that yes he's doing the right thing and god is not doing anything wrong by remaining invisible and plus revealing himself to mankind to his words his scriptures and what want us to believe his what his words say that he's in it is this visible god and yet believing in him is god doing anything wrong no he's doing the right thing but how can i never see god as a being but yet still i know that god exists and he's invisible you see ah that 
Mais ça n'a pas de problème de moi. Mais vous ne savez pas ce que je dis. Do I have to repeat this a million times in this video? No, I don't have the luxury time to do that. Because this video will be a short video, my dear friend. Lambert, a lot of the prophets in the scriptures never see God. But they were seeing the voice of God talking to them. And they knew it was God. But God never appeared to, to some of them as a being that they could see him. No. But they were seeing the voice of God talking to them. Lambert, I can assure you that King David was a man after God's own heart. But there's no text in the scriptures where God himself appeared to King David and say, I am God. And take a visible appearance and say, I is God. Or you will never see that in the scriptures. Or you will read in the psalm that David perceived the thought of God. David perceived the thought of God. Everything he knew it is God dealing with him. God is talking to him in a vision and hearing the voice of God talking to him. Either audible or in thought form. But he knows God talking to him. But nowhere in the scriptures would God never appear to David in a, in a form and shape and say, Here is God. Or you will never see that. Search that in the scriptures from Oli will never see that. But what all over here, that David perceived the thought of God. No, it is God talking to him. And he talking back to God. Ah, and yet still when God is in, 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 interacting with David in that way, yet God is invisible at the same time. Is I making up that? Or you read it in the scriptures or for yourself. I'll send all you to find that. First Samuel, second Samuel. First King, second Kings. Alas, first Chronicles and second Chronicles, read it for yourself, and plus in the 150 Psalms. <laughs> yes, I'm not making up nothing. I'm not making up nothing as I go along. see that is exactly what God is doing, remaining invisible and revealing himself at the same time. Mm. Is God doing anything wrong? No, he's doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. That's a teaching of the scriptures from Genesis to Revelation. I'm not lying on the Bible. That's explaining to you all what I have read. Simple as that, ladies and gentlemen. Is God playing games on people? Not at all. Not at all. Mm -hmm. Yes, I could assure you all that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, tell Derek Lambert, I want you to know. That God doesn't want no one to be an atheist. God wants everyone to believe in him and to know him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want you to know that, my dear friend. And the only how you can know God and believe in him is believing in his words, the Holy Bible, from Genesis to Revelation. But the Bible says, yes, 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 yes. believe in the words of God. Mm -hmm. But anytime you have an attitude opposing the words of God and fighting against the words of God and teaching that the Bible contradicts itself and the Bible is a book of lies and a book of myths and it doesn't make sense, then you cannot understand the words of God. Because to understand the words of God, there are physical things there and spiritual things there. Things where you'll understand, as I have to spoke to speak in a manner like the late Herbert W. Armstrong. Type him up, Herbert W. Armstrong, the great American evangelist. He tell you about the carnal mind, which is in the Bible, the 
carnal mind, which is the physical mind, only understand carnal things, physical things. But to understand the spiritual things of God, you need a net spirit, which is the Holy Ghost. And when you accept Jesus Christ, you receive the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost now, when you have the Holy Ghost, God is working through you now to understand the spiritual things in His words and scriptures. But you must have the Holy Ghost to understand spiritual things. If you do not understand, have the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, you cannot understand the spiritual things in the Bible. You will only understand the physical things. I didn't say that. Paul wrote that to the inspiration of God in the, in the, in the epistles. In the epistles. In the epistles. Romans and Corinthians. But all of you all atheists do not have the Holy Spirit. You all are carnally minded. So therefore, how will you all understand spiritual things? Because the Bible is a spiritual book. Yes. Yes, in your way, the Bible. Holy Bible. Because the author of the Bible is a holy God. And he's a spirit being. So that's why the Bible is a spiritual book. Because it comes from a spiritual God. Spiritual God. God is a spiritual being, supreme spiritual being. Yes. And He's a holy God, supreme holy, God the Father. Of course, Christ and the Father is one. So that's why the Bible is called Holy Bible. Because the God of the Bible is a holy God. And He's a spirit being. Spirit being. A spiritual being. Spiritual being, spirit being. Same thing. Mm -hmm. There are things of physical, physical things and spiritual things in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, not preaching one. I'll finish now. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's it. There is Lambert. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's it. Mm -hmm. Well, I have to hold up there, my dear friend. I cannot go a full hour. I have to hold up there. Mm -hmm. But I want you to know that God exists. God is real. The universe He creates and brings into existence, and everything He creates, He created for His purpose. And everything that He creates has a purpose. And He creates all the angels. Yes. And then He created the universe. This complex universe with all this complexity is God bring it about. Yeah. Yeah, he bring about all that. He's the creator of it. All these things as his handiwork, his creation. Mm -hmm. Yes, the Bible talks about that. The Bible is true. Mm -hmm. Yes, that these things are not fiction. These things are not mythology. These things are not myths. As you all quick to label the Bible, I say all these things are myths and, and, and mythology, and, and, and mythology and myths, man, and legends and all these things. Uh huh. The Bible has no myths in it and no legend and no mythology. Want you all to know that. 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 So I'm telling it all to you all up front. To all your face. Not hiding at all. <laughs> Eric Braxton is sent on the closet. Uh -huh, you think I have a skeleton in the closet? There is no skeleton in my closet. Uh -huh. I'm open. I'm speaking to you all openly. <laughs> what I will have in my closet, that room, in, the, in that um, closet, that private compartment, and my clothes, my shirt, my shoes, my tie, and of course the Bible, <laughs> that will be in my closet. Yes, of course neatly tucked away and guarded. That's what I will have in my closet. Right as an example, not an insult, but that's the reality. And I, Eric Braxton, is not no atheist. Because being an atheist, everything about an atheist is negativity. Because that person is denying the existence of God. Everything about a person believes that God exists, the true creator God, as according to the Bible. Everything is positive about that and honorable about that. 
keep that in mind. But those who say that God doesn't exist and there is no God, that person is a fool according to a to the fourth. According to Psalms 14, a fool in his heart say there is no God. And God did not create any of us to be fools. He creates us, please help me, to be wise and intelligent and knowledgeable to know that He exists, God. Because that God did not create any of the angels fools. He created the angels with sense and give them wisdom, knowledge and understanding to know that He exists. So that's why all the angels know that God exists. Psalms 14 is not hanging. Oh, you see all the angels that God created? Psalms 14 is not hanging over none of their head. Let me repeat once again. I said that all the angels that God brings into existence, Psalms 14 is not hanging over any of the angels' head. Because you know why? All of them know that God exists. Psalms 14 is on Unfortunately and sadly, it's hanging over the heads of human beings who are denying the existence of God when the proof is in the when the proof is in the front of every person in plain sight to tell us that God exists by his because of his creation and the the, the, the the complexity of his creation. That is the proof that God exists. And we are watching his creation and denying it as next that these things come about by chance. And in spite of intelligent design, or oh no intelligent being bring it about, the intelligent design bring about itself and design itself. That is foolishness on our part. It's a sad case of affairs on our part, eh? <laughs> ah, that's the hardcore reality. That's the hardcore reality, my dear friend. But to all my atheist brothers and sisters in the atheist community, I want you all to know that God has no right of any of you all. That God loves all of you all, and God loves all of you all because He created all of you all. And God Jesus Christ is the Savior of the world, and He died for every man upon the earth. And God, and God is willing to save each and every one of you all, my atheist brothers and sisters in the atheist community. But you all have to acknowledge all yourselves acknowledge that all you are all that all is wrong and acknowledge his words in scriptures and believe in his in the bible and humble yourself as a little child and accept the bible by faith and accept jesus christ as our lord and savior that's the only how you all will know that god exists and believe in his words from genesis to revelation mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes 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 that's the only how Mm -hmm. Because as I tell all you, all the angels know that God exists eh? and none of them is atheists. All the angels are not atheists. It's human beings calling themselves atheists. God creates everybody to know that He exists. Mm -hmm. Okay, brothers and sisters, I have reached. I don't want to go a full hour. I have many, I have much to speak about this on, in the next video to come, but we'll have to hold it up at this, ju this juncture. Well, my dear friend, um, Derek, Derek, uh, Derek Lambert, that's a fact of the matter. And Derek, I want you to know that God exists and God is real. And I want you to come to that reality in the shortest possible time. And you see all them scholarship that you want to come close to? And all these scholarship that you want to read, and all these scholars you want to come close, all these um, bright men, these scholars and these PhDs with all the books that they have write, you want to associate yourself with each of them and rec and uh, interview all of them, to accept all the books and the writings, to, to condemn the Bible and to accept their teaching and their books. By accepting all with these scholars are telling you. And accepting the teachings and rejecting the Bible, you are doing the wrong thing. All what these scholars are telling you, and you want to, and you want to, you want to be close to them and rub shoulder with them, and to praise the works, the books, and the writings, and say this is a great scholarship. This one, I've written a book of great scholarship. None of the scholarship cannot save you. Mm -hmm. And accepting all the 
the falsehood that they are teaching in the book and condemning it to book the Bible. Mm -hmm. You better leave them alone. You better leave these guys alone and accept the words of God. When you accept the Bible as the words of God and you accept God, God is true and you accept Christ and you get baptized and you become a Christian and no longer an atheist and become an ex-atheist, you're no longer an atheist, now you're a Christian, Derek Lambert. Now when you accept Christ and you believe in the Bible from Genesis to Revelation, now you could go to these scholars and tell them about Jesus Christ and the Bible. And I end the video on that note. But this not be the last. I have much to discuss with you, my dear friend. Much to discuss with you. Letting you know that everything about atheism is of negativity. And they'll hold it up at that junction. And you know what? You'll hold it up at that junction. I know what I mean, but in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I did not record this video to insult you in any way, my dear friend, but to let you know the facts of the matter. You know the name, but in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen, amen. Shalom, peace. See you all in it. See you all in it. See you soon. Bye-bye, my friend. Shalom, peace.